You could say the title of this video is a bit of a contradiction. It's a bit ironic in the sense that it's still feeding into the thing which I'm saying we should try to avoid, that we should stop feeding into. But I just have this sneaky suspicion that we've got some pretty big stars in boxing today. We have guys who make crazy money, like Canelo Alvarez, like Anthony Joshua. Not bad looking boxers as well, which is actually an important aspect that brings women to the ring as well. We've got super skilled guys like Vasily Lomachenko, and we have potential mega fights, like still just about Crawford Spence, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, which would, I think, engage the casuals and probably make new fans. But there's still this sneaking suspicion in boxing, that unresolved poison that won't quite leave our veins, which is the saga between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. It got spoken about so much before they even fought. And then when they did fight, it was so poor. It was such a bitter aftertaste that it just will not leave our mouths. Pacquiao Mayweather is like that long lost love that you just refuse to let go of. But that is exactly what it was. It was a completely missed and lost opportunity. The time before Pacquiao Mayweather, I remember where an encounter just left so much unresolved feeling and bickering after it was probably Lewis against Vitale, the great heavyweight fight of 2003, Lennox Lewis's last fight. Now, Vitaly Klitschko hadn't been much of a factor in Lewis's career up till that. You know, there'd been talk of maybe Vladimir facing him, but they face... It's a great fight. Vitaly's up on the cards. His face gets ripped up. It ends. And there was loads of talk about it after. Is there going to be a rematch? People still talk about it today. It was hilarious the extent to which Vitaly fans were analysing the fight. Like, oh, Lennox rubbed his dreadlocks into the cut to make it worse. There was all kinds of commentary, running commentary, well after the fight had been done. But at least those guys basically fought when it could be made and what controversy there was even though there wasn't a sequel there wasn't a rematch we can still kind of look at it and there's a bit of a charm to it about what would have happened would Vitaly's face have just fallen apart completely or would he have gone on and ground Lewis down again being ahead on points we don't know but there's still a little bit of a charm to it there's no charm to the Pacquiao Mayweather saga and it's spawned. The reason why I bring this up is it's kind of changed the narrative in boxing. It's changed the way we look at things. And there's this idea now of marinating a fight, a very dangerous one, one that punishes the fans. And I would say overly rewards the boxers to the point they're not really boxing anymore. It's become something of a business deal. Now, Teddy Atlas sometimes makes the point that fighters can't get overpaid. And I agree in the sense that they're risking their lives in there, but fighters should have pressure put on them in order to fight the best to get the big bucks. If we go back to the real fight of the century, Muhammad Ali against Joe Frazier, 1971, one of the best heavyweight fights of all time. They both got paid two and a half million. It was an even split, two undefeated heavyweights for all the marbles. Before the fight, before Frazier came roaring out of the dressing room and went on to win, he was asked about the money. And he said, it gives you the drive to, to do a little more, to go a little further. That's the whole point. They were punching for pay. They were punching for every penny and they were stepping up when they were getting paid the big, big bucks. Something like Mayweather Pacquiao and now this narrative of letting it marinate, possibly like they're doing with the heavyweights now and the other weights. What happens is the event and the actual worth of the fight starts to become overinflated. It starts to swell and it draws in so much money, it starts to become a circus. And all the while, the real worth of the fight is degrading of the fighters, even if they don't get old. When you make that crazy kind of money, when you, pe when you realize you've just got the public in the palm of your hand for whenever you can make that fight, so you can wait, 
I believe it does sap some of the desire in terms of getting the W. There's not as much desire for me, the guy, to just win anymore because it's not about that. It's become this big, ridiculous show. So we hear that Floyd Mayweather may return next year. Is it for money? No. It's kind of more just like, hey, look at me again. I want to be in the spotlight. And with that, with Pacquiao still fighting, it does present that opportunity to make a second fight. I know a lot of people are sick of it, but I bet it could still be made and it would still be able to milk the idiots for lots of money, which would be ridiculous. You create these big, silly fights where it just morphs into a big business proposition and the passion isn't there anymore. It's kind of your fault. I definitely don't want to see that. We have got to learn from the past. Pacquiao Mayweather was a lost opportunity and we've got to get rid of this idea of marinating fights. When they're good to go, make the fight.